My first husband was a dirtbag, and a cheat. My second husband was fun. I figured by then that I deserved a toy. All for myself, and that's what I got. Still wish I hadn't broken my toy. My third husband was good with numbers, and his hands. We're still friends, kind of. We're civil. I'm looking for my fourth, you know, on the prowl. I don't know when I'll meet him, or where I'll meet him, but he's out there. For now, I'll get my jollies off on bringing pain this way. Or maybe this way. And in the end, the crowd will love me for my brutality. I'll make them yearn for more and more of my pain. I'll be cruel and enjoy myself. When the thrill wears off, I'll leave and find a new toy. Until then, not too different than matrimony, come to think of it. Maybe the Colosseum is my fourth husband, in a way.
It was a dark and stormy night. Sheesh. On a distant corner of Pandora, where few men dare to tread. With the journey to find the elusive vault behind them, a fearless adventurer set off into the trees of... What's a tree? Oh, for the angel's sake! It's a plant that grows out of the ground really tall. Like this? No more interruptions. <clears throat> so, they set out into the trees of Jacob's Cove, a land very much ravaged and forgotten by time. It was here that the scientist Dr. Ned, who is totally not Dr. Z from the last story at all, tried to help all of mankind but ultimately caused very bad shit. That's a swear! Dude made zombies, okay? You're not the police of me. Pay attention. Okay. So some bad crap was happening. And it got really spooky. And this is where our story begins. Is any of this going to be true? Yes. Probably a lot of it. You're adopted. Thank you. 
The town should be safe for now, but if you're really going to solve the zombie infestation, you're gonna need to talk to Dr. Ned. He's been trying to fix the problem, and I'm sure he could use a hand. You'll find him at his office down on the docks. I'll open the waterfront gate so you can be on your way. Let's go! This crap ain't enough for your ailments. Visit my infirmary on the water in Jacob's Cove.
brought to the executive leadership of the Jacobs Corporation that certain anti-Jacobs propaganda has been circulating, proclaiming that we are somehow responsible for not supplying evacuation from the sudden fatal passing of 97% of the workforce. We would like to remind the surviving 3% that we are not a taxi service, and further spread of this material will result in a write-up with HR. Anna, things have gone from bad to worse. There have been rumors of people seeing the dead walk. At first, these tales were laughed off at the saloon, but, but now people talk in the hushed whispers of the truth. They say that those who come in contact with the dead are always the first to be ill and are, as such, the first to seek the help of Dr. Ned. The doctor assures me that he's making progress on a cure. I, for one, believe him, and it is only three more weeks till we are reunited. Kiss the girls for me. Love, Hank. I've arrived at Jacob's Cove, and you'll be pleased to know it seems a jolly and lively old town. I know being away from you and the children will be difficult, but it's only for a few cycles. The pay is just too generous to pass up. I'll work hard here and be back to you and the girls soon. My brother will take good care of you in the meantime. Love, Hank.
with this. Dearest Anna, the work here is tough, but honest. Oh, and the trees, Anna. The trees are amazing. You wouldn't believe your eyes. I've never seen anything like them. Sometimes I feel sad to cut them down, but it will all be worth it if I can get back to you with the money required for us to have a fresh start. I'm dreaming about a nice homestead in the Doll Headland. Think on it. Missing you, Hank. P.S. Tell Sally that I love the hat she sent. I wear it every day. The men tease me a bit, but they don't know the joy that a child's love can bring. Noticing some strange things at the mill of late, many workers seem to be falling very ill. What is strange is that we all had our checkups just last week and were given a clean bill of health and a vitamin from the company's physician, Dr. Ned. He's doing everything in his power, but there have been some deaths. Do not worry. I will, as always, be careful. I'll send an echo again soon. All my love. Hank.
beloved Anna. It is no longer rumors. Some curse has been set upon us here at Jacob's Cove. The dead are rising from their graves and are ravenous with a hunger for flesh. All work has stopped, and we're fighting for our lives. But fear not. Dr. Ned believes there's a way to stop the horror. I have volunteered to allow him to test an antidote on me. <laughs> it's the Skags, my dear. The filthy Skags will be our salvation. The doctor says they're immune to the ailment. I'm presently on my way to get this treatment at the hospital outside of town. I know, I know it will be a success, and we will be together again shortly. Pray for me. Hank. Dr. Ned, before you're undead. Don't settle for anything less than the best.